Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I'm going to read from 2 Peter chapter 2. You're meeting here with God's Church of Love. Here we go. But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privily shall bring in damnable heresies when denying the Lord that bought them and bring upon themselves swift destruction. And many shall follow their pernicious ways by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. And through covetousness shall they with feigned words make merchandise of you, whose judgment now the long time lingereth not, and their damnation slumbereth not. Uh, I saw a video a while back on um, on YouTube. And what really got me was there was a man who preached the word of God, referred, referring to himself as prophet. In the last days, okay, this prophet was sitting there in a iridescent, sparkly, bangle dangled i mean if you remember the pianist um oh what is his name i can't think of his name but he wore rhinestones on every finger he was always dazzled and spazzled all over he looked like a neon sign coming down the street he had more more dazzle going on him than his christmas tree and he dressed like that all the time well you kind of knew something was up Okay, but this is a man preaching the gospel, supposedly. And this man had more sparkle than that man did. And everything he wore, if he wore black, his shoes had to be bright red with all kind of stuff on it. If he wore a suit and a tie and a pair of pants, the pants were skin tight, the kind of tight that you see a woman wear when she's trying to allure man's attention. You have to be careful what you watch and what you listen to. That is what I saw that video the day before yesterday. And I was literally, if you saw my face on video, if anybody had a hidden camera, this is the, t the way I look the most of the time. I saw the different video clips of him. I couldn't I couldn't believe that someone would step out in public looking like that. I couldn't tell if he was uh, uh, flamboyant, flashy, fairy of a brother. I couldn't tell what he was. I couldn't tell if he was trying to look like a would-be pimp. I couldn't tell what he was trying. It, he looked like he wanted to be a movie star uh, it, on stage with the bright lights. And he was dazzling from head to toe like some of the famous singers do when they're putting on a performance. And that's what he did. He put on a performance. Um, he was sitting in his car in one video talking into the camera, talking to one of his buddies. And he couldn't hardly talk for laughing. He was laughing as if he couldn't even believe that people went for his book. It was just, I, it was so blatant. It was so, and everything you see that he does is attached to money. Send money, send an uh, X amount of money for a, 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 a diamond uh, blessing from the Lord. Send uh, $200 for a glittery uh, surprise for the Lord will bless you. There's a blessing waiting for you if you send $300. There's a blessing God is waiting for you to give. I I'm like, oh, what is this? And I've heard so many preachers do that in the past. It's such a turn off. You guys watch what you allow in your spirit. 
because everything that glitters is not golden gospel from God. Trust me, you have to have a spirit of discernment in this day and age. You have to be willing to know that God is not a flashy God. He's not flamboyant. Yes, he's got the gold and the glitter and the sparkles in heaven and all of that. But when we preach the gospel, our exterior is never to upstage what we're saying. When you need that much attention, trust me, you're not ready yet. Leave the pulpit alone and get on stage. Do your thing. But leave it out of the pulpit. That's an inappropriate presentation when you're bringing the word of God to feed God's people with. So, those of you who see somebody that's slick, looking sly, slick, and wicked and all, I mean, just <laughs> so manicured, he's, he looks like he spends more time in the mirror than 10 women in a row, please leave it alone. If you see a woman preaching, there was a woman on YouTube I saw years ago. I couldn't believe she was allowed. I mean, YouTube will nitpick about some of our Christian stuff, but it allowed this woman to be on YouTube with her nipples showing as she called herself preaching the gospel. She was a former striptease dancer. <laughs> one of the ministers I saw years ago he was so cute and he preached and sang and pastored and when he got married his whole appearance changed and I was so nervous about him and before you knew it he was preaching a whole different gospel and the sad part was at first he really 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 he just looked so, he was just so charismatic, so warm, so genuine. But after time went by, his image changed. His hair was slick. He looked like Slick Willie. <laughs> I am, you know, we have all got to be very careful. We all have. Now, the people that are with me in God's church of love, my intention is to train them up in leadership because every one of them is called to leadership. But see, Satan will come and try to beguile and I am standing guard. You will not mess with my folks in the name of Jesus. This is my family and I'm their family and we will not allow any sucker to come in and mess with us. So all that sly, slick, ego stuff and and all that flashy mess, you stay far away from us. We have no place for pride. We have no place for fleshly pettiness. We have no place for money grubbing. We have no place for any of it. We will not be false prophets. None of us will. They'll meet with my shoe and my belt, but none of us will, will be false prophets if God has anything to do with it. And I ask God to have everything to do with that in the name of Jesus. Be careful who you feed yourself by. Don't sit there and allow yourself to suck up under somebody who is full of pride, who is full of ego, who is conceited, who is narcissistic. Do not. Spare yourself the junk food, baby. Please. Save your time. You'd be better off reading the Bible for yourself than feeding yourself with some mess like that. Now, I'm not saying they're phony. I'm not saying that. But all I can say is if they were led by the Holy Spirit, their presentation would be that of modesty. That is the principle of God's people, modesty. There's a place for flair. 
There's a place for flamboyance. If I go to an evening affair and I want to be all spangled dangle, that's appropriate. But not for the pulpit. Am I showing off God? Or am I showing myself off? Look at me, selfie. I love me, I love me. Don't you love me? Watch that. And watch uh, leaders that are always pushing the money, the money issue. Always begging for money. Always got a reason why you need to give to them. I'd like to hear a preacher say, Y'all find somebody around you in your neighborhood that you know is struggling and give somebody struggling the money. It doesn't have to go into a church. It doesn't have to go to the preacher you're looking at on video. You can give to me. You can give to them. You can give to them. And guess what? You don't have to give to me. You can give to the lady down the street that's on welfare, that can barely buy food, take her shopping and fill her cabinets. That's what you can do. Jesus said, when you've done it unto the least of these, you've done it unto me. You want to give God a Christmas present? Bless those that cannot bless themselves. That's what you do. Don't look for the, 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 the next charismatic slick willy or, 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 or sexy Betsy to give her your money while she calls herself preaching God's gospel. Bless Jesus with your money. Those that are in need, those that you know are in need. And stop using these people as your example. When I get to starting to, to uh, teaching on leadership, one of the main things we're going to learn is modesty, honesty, transparency, character, integrity, real love, and real holiness. You don't want to line up with that baby. You ain't called to the ministry. And if you call to the ministry, then you ain't saved yet. You leave the pulpit alone. God bless you. Not trying to be mean, but we're moving in these last days now. We don't have time for nonsense. God doesn't have time for nonsense. And y'all watch where you put your money to. There are many people out there that have need other than the person on the idiot box telling you you're going to be blessed if you give them you be more blessed if you give the if you give the homeless man a dinner I'm going to stop now before I get too riled up I want to maintain my dignity God bless you have a merry christmas if some of you don't see me until after but I just want you to know Know them that labor among you. Know them. Don't follow every little cutesy and every little fine as wine strutting around like a peacock. Everything that calls themselves a preacher, a pastor, a prophet, an apostle, all these title, these title mongers. That's what I call them, title mongers. Hello, I'm pastor, a prophet, preacher, teacher. Uh, ooh, ah. All right. Merry Christmas. I shall stop before I slip into my flesh and lose the anointing of God. <laughs> God bless you.